Oh my goodness, hello. Do you like my spectacles? That one you are. And we just lost power. <sighs> Holy. So we are having, it is a hot, hot day today. And we were actually planning on going to the water park at Great America tomorrow and found out that they're closed not only today, but the water park's closed tomorrow as well. We received an email. So looks like there's going to be about a 90% chance of storms there um, where it's at. So we're looking at possibly Sunday going, which would be really nice. Yeah. I would love to get out of this heat. Yeah, it's supposed to be super hot here. Well, it is super hot here today and again tomorrow. So I am doing, I've been telling you guys about this cleaning program that I have been working on. And so today is what I call a minimum day. Oh my goodness, hello. Do you like my spectacles? <laughs> you are so crazy. I should probably so what have you off. been playing on uh, VR? I've been using, because my phone doesn't support gyroscope, which basically makes it so you can go. Mm. Hello, guys. I've been watching side-by-side -side VR videos that I just pop my old phone in, and then it just matches it up on this little line. Very cool. So, yeah, the kids have been trying to keep themselves occupied today. You are so distracting like that. What do I, I feel like, like I'm talking to an alien. What do I look like? <laughs> oh, you have to, to watch the video and see yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that's how he comes in and starts talking to me, you guys. It's distracting. <sighs> but yeah, so I've been telling you about the stop it, go, go. I can't take it anymore. I've been telling you about this cleaning routine that I have been working on for myself. And today is what I would call a minimum day. Look at you. What'd you get on your face? Get off the chair, young man. Get down. Yes. Yes. Slide down it. You want to slide down it? Okay, only once and then get down. All right. Now that I think they're calmed down, I think this is the fourth time I've tried to tell you guys about this. But I'm doing what I call, I have three levels to my regular days that I've put together. One is what I would call a motivated day, one is a minimum day, and then one is a lazy or just needing a free day. Is what I, at least I'm calling them for myself. But today I'm doing what I call a minimum day, where I just get my main areas together, and tomorrow work towards a motivated day and work on some projects. That's a little bit, what'd you find? Yeah. But yeah, so that's a little sneak preview as to what I'm putting together for myself that really seems to be working for me. And if you saw my house right now, you would have no idea that that's working. But I'm gonna get some of that done and you'll see what I'm talking about. Wait, do you want me to in the can I have both things? No, I don't want it. You need Play-Doh, yeah. not out in the living room. What are you two hanging out We're doing? We're trying to play with each other on this game that we know we can, but they made a server for us and I couldn't get on it. Yeah, I yeah. didn't show up in her thing. He's trying to find buddies. I'm trying to find a buddy. So we have to be on it. I'm gonna mess you. You're gonna make it messy? Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun, huh? Luke's been helping make a messy, as Aspen calls it. Look at this, you guys. He drug a towel out. He's got stuffing from his favorite teddy bear, which he got has lasted him about. He does have a bone, doesn't he? Yeah, he likes it. Let's just get he it. does let's like get it. it off. No, he let him have his bone. He likes his bone. Now, to look at the weather because Matt said we are under a severe thunderstorm watch now. But it looks fine right now, you guys. It's sunny but it's humid it's like walking through water it's the air just feels sticky sticky and damp my plants would like some rain but i don't think i'm looking forward to any thunderstorms not with this humidity all right so aspen's getting a little feisty out there because i was working on my housework and just about to finish 
with the dishes part of my minimal day. And um, we're under a severe thunderstorm warning now. So we'll see how this day goes. I have a little bit left to do out here, but for the most part, the kitchen is looking good. What? Okay guys, so we are under a tornado warning again. I'm getting everyone's shoes ready. Yep, get everybody's okay. shoes ready. Quiet, quiet. Over the last hour of the storm as it tracks towards the south or east and a little bit towards the south. So the southern edge around the whole line area may start to creep southward into Buchanan, It's okay, I spent. In towards Dubuque County. There's no uh, this is the possibility that is uh, the damaging wind in that vicinity. Uh, let's go back to the warning in Clayton County, see if we have the circulation still there. Now keep in mind, this is the Okay, so that's where we're at, guys. Line of thunderstorms that's severe. This could have uh, some gusty winds, but this is the one right in here that has the potential for the strongest of the winds and eventually the heavy rain. This so that's what we're seeing right now. And they said that they've seen circulation in the clouds in Clayton County. So we're just going to keep an eye on it like we always do and make sure the kids are where they need to be and safe. So here we are, Clayton County. Uh, any minute now, 6 o'clock. Guttenberg at 619, Manchester 633. Hey guys, so one of the things that I make sure I always do is take anything that could be turned into flying debris. We have a little time, about 18 minutes. So, and I think I'm gonna get the kids down to the basement just to be on the safe side and not wait. Um, even though they haven't sounded the sirens yet, but I do want to be on the safe side. They said about 619, honey. Anyway, we're gonna get anything that could be flying debris taken Mom, into the house. Grandpa's about to get hit. At seven, honey. Seven o'clock in Dubuque. Yeah, it's almost there. No, it's okay. It's literally about to hit. They get so excited. So we just want to make sure everything's taken in so that nothing, no one can get hurt. And uh, anything that could be flying debris and stuff like that gets taken in. And I know I'm repeating myself because it's one of those things where it's you know, you just want to make sure you have everything prepared and turn it into as least of a stressful situation as you can. So this has been quite the summer, you guys. Quite the summer for this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's starting to get darker. Over there. Prairie Machine at 618, Guttenberg 629. Cassville at 638. Dr. Okay, so they've moved it back about 10 minutes. 659, and just after 7 o'clock, or right around the 7 o'clock time frame, will be Dubuque. So, those areas that uh, need to be taking shelter is in the northern portions of Clayton County. But keep in mind, all of those areas that are in advance of that line of thunderstorms, okay. consider this sort of the same kind of warning since we have... Uh, damaging wind that could yeah, do some significant damage, block. trees now, getting knocked over into some the, houses, uh, power, <sighs> uh, power may go out in some cases, so please be advised that this is a very dangerous situation as the storm wraps towards the east very fast. These are fast moving. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking we're probably going to get the kids down into the basement from the sounds of this storm. It's not here yet. There we go. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for us. So this is the thing where they want you inside. But we're still under a tornado warning. Really yeah, that's why you're... Beautiful. 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 The National Weather Service in La Crosse has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Grant okay. County in southwestern Wisconsin, southwestern Richmond County. Okay, so they've added more places, and that's what the severe thunderstorm warning's coming from. We're still under tornado, so. No, that's why we are off. And we just lost power. Look at this, you guys. Look how fast those clouds are moving right now. And it is just getting darker and darker. Yeah. That, that is wind some starts. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> the kids put helmets on their heads. And They're all prepared. Light. And you have a light on your watch. I have a candle downstairs. Braxton's getting a little 
A little Everybody. overheated and he's tired. I want you two to get your dogs on the leash and bring them out here. I'm thinking we're going to be going to the basement soon. Where is Aspen? Um, he has a helmet too. He has a helmet too. You guys are staying right on the couch waiting for us to call the signal? Signal? To Zane, go to the basement. Zane, Zane said it would wipe us out and I was like, it's going to wipe us with a napkin. Okay, you guys. So it is literally coming down and right above us. And it looks like... Yeah, that just, oh. Look at that cloud move. It's time to get these kids to the basement. Look at how low it's starting to, oh. holy crap. Basement! I know you can't see us, there isn't much light down here. That, that storm is hitting and it's, it's bad. We're all down in the basement. I'm gonna get these guys to come down. Let's go, guys! Yeah, that wind's bad. I don't even, I can't even show you. My hand's shaking so bad. It's dark down here right now. I'd show you if I could, but. We should have grabbed some money. Down in here! I'm gonna go get these guys down here. They're my favorite chase. They're, they're driving me crazy. Here it is, guys. It is here. This is what it looks like right now. And look at that rain. It's just like circulating. All right, let's get in and get this door closed. Basement. There you sounded the alarm. I know. Holy cow. Right, so we have all the kids and our neighbor kids down in the basement right now. Um, it looks like we have about 10 minutes of this storm yet to go. There was a huge crack of thunder just a minute ago. So we've got the dogs and the kids and the cat, everybody down here. Hopefully it just passes over and well, we still have no power. Yeah, they're getting restless as you can hear down here. Okay, so it is, I'm so shaky. It is pretty calm right now. Ew, I just stepped in water. As you can see, it's super cold compared to the heat and humidity we had earlier, but we're still out of power, which is why I'm on the porch filming. And you're gonna find you got your vlog late. Hopefully I can even get it out today, I don't know. I don't know if the power is gonna come back on. It's ready to go, but there's no power for me to send it out for you guys, and no internet service for me to send it out for you either. So, until the power comes back on, it is what it is, but Hopefully these line of storms are done. It looks like there may be another small pocket of storms to come, but we really don't, we don't even have any updating on our phones. There's no internet service. Because of where we live, our internet service is really bad on our phones here, and I can't get anything. And I was letting the kids play with my phone today, and so I have no charge on it, even if I had a small amount of internet to see something. So I think I'm gonna put it out in the car and hope that it charges up a little bit, and then we'll go from there. Been a summer. Okay, so we're filming by window light right now, and you can't. Oh, look, there's a shadow. Oh, that's bright. Anyway, you can't really see much in here, and the kids are experiencing what it's like to be without electricity, oh. electronics. It's not so, surprising. It's, it's not what? It's not very good. It's not very good. We're living in an Amish paradise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we don't know when the power is going to come back. We think we're probably going to take a trip in the van for a little while now that the weather's calmed down a bit. Yes, please. And uh, maybe go get something Hello? cold to drink. <laughs> and I guess I'm having cheese and chips for dinner because I'm not opening the refrigerator and I didn't eat dinner yet. Everyone else had salads, but mom. That's where we're at so far. Everything's fine, you guys. So the trees and branches have gone, well, branches, not trees. No. Branches have gone down in the town, so those winds were pretty nasty. They were about 70 miles an hour when they came through town, and you can see there's debris everywhere, and the entire town, entire town, is without power. The only place that there's power is by the dam. Hey guys, so we headed up to Garnavillo to see if we could, if they had some power there, because we're still without power in Guttenberg, and uh, see if we could go get a drink and stuff. And she hasn't eaten. Yeah, there's no power in Garnavillo or in Guttenberg. That's 15 and, miles apart. Yeah, so 
look at this. I gotta show you guys this guy. This is... So this is in between Garnavillo, Guttenberg, Dyersville. Look at that sky. Crazy clouds. And then look, it looks nice over there. But it's pretty dark. Alright guys, so we're back home. We have power. But our thoughts go out to those about 15 minutes away from us in McGregor where a tornado did touch down. And as soon they, as haven't, they said it, they have not confirmed touchdown, but I mean... If yeah, they haven't confirmed touchdown, but I will show you guys some pictures here as soon as the internet comes back up. It keeps going up and down. Um, but there's like 200-year-old buildings that are ripped apart, brick buildings just torn apart. They haven't confirmed it yet. It always takes a little bit of time, but... You can see by the devastation that it obviously. Yeah, and like we said, the tornado, the tornado warning for our county went off, and we lost power in almost all of our county for three hours. Yeah, so our thoughts go out to everyone there. We actually met a gentleman at the gas station who lightning struck their tree, like literally struck the tree in half, and, and the fire the department, it destroyed the home, and the fire department said that they cannot stay there, so they have no home tonight. So we're very lucky, losing some electricity and not having internet capability A little bit of nothing. leaking roof still, yeah. because it's not fixed yet. But that's nothing compared to what no. some of those around us are dealing with right now. I told you guys I was working on the cleanup in the house. That obviously didn't happen with my minimal schedule today. So we'll just count this as a lazy day. But I am going to go get the dishes shoved into the dishwasher so that we have clean dishes tomorrow. And empty those clean ones out. Because the kitchen was just about done. So here's some of the images that we're able to pull up. Right now the town of McGregor is actually closed down. There's that. You can see this here. There's a tattoo shop under here, and this is uh, just open. You can see everything. The people's house was just blown apart. There. And you can see this was dev dev definitely, you know. A devastating storm. Yeah. yeah, so we are feeling very, very lucky this evening. Like I said, that's literally 15 minutes away from where we live, so... What a night, and like I said before, this has been a summer, you guys. Just The kids are pretty amped up, as you can hear in the background. They are just crazy. I mean, not having the electricity and stuff was kind of freaky for them, and then, of course, the weather being down in the basement. And Matt and Skylar were actually standing outside. I was down in the basement when it happened, and Matt said that the wind came, and it was like somebody had just taken it and slammed bricks into the side of the house. The wind was so strong. It was like, what, 70 mile an hour winds? 70, 75, yeah. Yeah, so we're very lucky and we're definitely counting our blessings tonight. Unfortunately, we're not done with the storms. Hopefully around 2.30 a.m., 3 o'clock, we're supposed to get hit with another round and I hope that it's a lot calmer. Yeah. So this is what these guys are doing to just kind of chill out and Play Play-Doh. Yeah, you're playing Play-Doh, huh? Yeah, Play-Doh Which, you guys, is a good stress reducer, so they're squishing stuff and squeezing it, and that's they're really good for them. Squeezing it into my Batman. You're squeezing it into your Batman? Yeah. Oh, hi, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Did Bleep come to say hi? Yeah, Bleep. Maybe she smelled the Play-Doh. Play-Doh does smell good. <laughs> I like Play-Doh candy. 